welcome back to another brand new video. Today we have the 2020 Diamond Big Bat Box. This is the high-end Big Bat Box, which is $125 per month. You can pick these up at thebigbatbox.com if you like what you see. Hopefully we can pull some good stuff in here. We had some nice success last month. So let's take a look at the packaging and then we will bust this open and see what we can find in this October edition of the Diamond Big Bat Box. There's the website right there, thebigbatbox.com. And let's get to it and see what is in store for this month. Thank you very much for watching everybody tonight. All right, so... We have some literature here, and you can see these are hand numbered. They made 400 of these diamond big bat boxes, and uh, this is number 165 out of 400. This is the second edition, so let's take a look at the packs in here. It tells us what the packs are there, but I like to pull them out and be surprised. So I uh, see a nice one right there. Uh, Chrome is a very nice, nice release, as you know, but look at this. We have a 2018 update pack in here, a very nice pack. Looking for the Acuna Jr., the Juan Soto rookie card, the Glaber rookie card, and the Shane Bieber rookie card. We also have a 2017 pack. It's a nice hobby pack of 2017 tops. Looking for Aaron Judge and Alex Bregman rookie cards. <laughs> 2018 Bowman. We were looking for Luis Robert in our random pack opening a couple days ago and did not find him. Maybe we'll find him today. That's a great pack right there. Another hobby pack. And then we have a hobby pack of 2020 Topps Chrome. It's a nice one right there. Lots of decent rookies in that release. And then a nice pack of 2018 Series 2. Not a lot of good rookies in this, but there's two major chase cards. It's the Bat Down Ronald Acuna Jr. Super Short Print Card along with the Glaber Torres Super Short Print Card. And we have a 2019 Topps Chrome Pack in there as well. So some nice packs. And there's also a bonus item here, which is uh, pretty, uh, pretty awesome. Usually... We find some nice stuff as our bonuses. Is there, is there another one down here? Let's double check. There's some tickets. They do a raffle every month for additional prizes. And that is everything in the box. So let's go ahead and get to ripping these. I guess, wh where do we start on? Not, there's like no crappy packs in here to start out at. Usually I start out with something that's kind of crappy just to get out of the way. But I don't I don't know where to start. Um, I guess... I'm going to have to go with, uh, let's do the bat down pack first. Typically, this most of the time is not going to give you much, if anything, in terms of valuable cards. There's not a lot of good rookies in here. In fact, the best rookie might be like Shohei Otani or Mitch Garver. Um, no offense to those guys, but not a lot of value in those rookie cards. Shohei Otani's stock has gone down very much. Like I said, this uh, this pack is like buying a lottery ticket, trying to hit the jackpot there which is the acuna bat down and as expected you see we don't get anything really of value in that pack but it's nice to try next up pack number two let's go to 2017 tops it's a hobby pack series one let's see if we can't find ourselves an aaron judge rookie card there's an elvis andrews on the back we'll also be trying to find an autograph today that would be pretty nice if we could hit one of those liam Hendricks. we've got homer bailey seth smith Anthony Rizzo, Barry Larkin. The odds of finding an autograph in this are pretty slim. Uh, typically with hobby, it's, it's like 1 in 24. Uh, with these, it might be 1 in 36. I think in 2017, there was still 36 packs. Nice 1970 Nolan Ryan reprint card there. Jason Grilly, a.k.a. Grill Cheese. There's a Ryan Braun, and we have a couple more cards, Matt Moore and Elvis Andrews. So, so far, nothing to write home about. Hopefully, that's all about the change. Let's go ahead and see if we can't find ourselves a Luis Robert in the 2018 pack. Royce Lewis is on the back. There's Francisco Mejia. I don't want to call him a failed prospect, but he hasn't done much since being traded to the Padres. At one time, it looked like he was going to be the next superstar catcher. Anthony Bonda rookie card. 
There's a Vissiel Garcia, Josh Donaldson in his Blue Jay uniform. And there we go. We have an autograph. It's a Jose Adolis Garcia first Bowman auto. Very nice card right there. Put that one aside. So we have a hit in our third pack of the Diamond Boom Box. Very nice. Jake Kalish first Bowman. Uh, Jamai Jones, Bowman Chrome, Ian Anderson, Bowman Chrome, and Royce Lewis, nice prospect right there. So, all right, we have a, a hit on the board, which is always nice to find an autograph in one of these subscription boxes. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. All right, let's go ahead and do our Chrome pack next. Let's do 2020 Chrome. Lots of good rookies in 2020 Chrome. One in 12 chance of finding an autograph. We've got Jesus Lusardo as our... First card there, that's a nice one. It's his rookie card. We've got D. Gordon, a refractor of Jeff McNeil. Nice looking card right there. And the last one is Edwin Rios, rookie card on the Dodgers, now playing in the World Series. I put it out there again. I picked the Rays over the Dodgers in seven at the beginning of the playoffs, and I'm sticking to that prediction. We'll have to see how it goes tonight with Tyler Glass now facing off against Clayton Kershaw. Um, I, I really root very heavily for Glass now. He's a great guy. I loved watching him with the Pirates. Next up, we've got 2019 Chrome. Maybe we'll find a Vladdy Jr. rookie in here. Maybe Pete Alonso, Tatis Jr., Aloy Jimenez. Only four cards, though, so not a big chance of finding it. But let's see. We have a Kevin Kramer Prism Refractor. There's an A. Eugenio Suarez and Michael Givens. So nothing great in that pack. I think you know what I'm saving for last. My favorite of the packs is the 2018 update pack. That could possibly have the uh, a whole host of great rookie cards in there. Let's check out our Bowman Chrome pack. These are very, very nice cards. I like these a lot. Matthew Boyd is our first card. Bryce Harper. If there's going to be an autograph, it's going to be this next card. That's usually where the auto falls. And it's going to be Bo Naylor. It's a numbered card at least. 336 out of 499. We also have an Ethan Hearn. And the last card in there is going to be a William, William Contreras. So now it's time to get to my favorite pack. We got one autograph. Hopefully we can find an Acuna or Juan Soto in here. Uh, there's been a couple times where I've pulled the Soto and Acuna out of the very same pack. Let's hope we can find that magic tonight. We shall see. So we have a rookie card. It's Miguel Gomez as our first card there. There's Andrew McCutcheon. So two Giants there. Of course, McCutcheon no longer on the Giants. He's on the Phillies now. A Harrison Bautista, who I haven't heard much about. Mr. 3000. There's a future Hall of Famer right there. Actually, two future Hall of Famers. You got Pujols along with Mike Trout. And we've got a nice card here. It's going to be an Independence Day parallel out of 76. Not the Yoannis Cespedes, but this Aaron Nola. These are awesome cards. I love these parallels. There's only 76 of each of these cards produced. That's 64 of 76. That's a very nice hit. we got Willie Adame's rookie card, 1983 design. A Hefri Marte. Tyler Chatwood and Mike Fires is the last one. So we did not hit any of the major rookie cards in that pack of 2018 update. But we've got one more little bonus on the screen. It is, um, I'm not sure what this is. Usually they toss in a bonus hit. Last month, if you recall, I still have it off to the side here. Last month, the bonus was a diamond, uh, not, well, not diamond, but uh just looking at that diamond security tag on there. It's a relic from Mickey Mantle last month. Let's see what we've got this month. It is going to be a... Could it be a Hank Aaron, guys? <laughs> that would be pretty crazy. Let's see if it is. It's, it's either going to be Hank Blaylock or Hank Aaron. Let's hope it's not Hank Blaylock. It is going to be a Hammer and Hank Aaron game use bat. How about that? That's a really nice hit right there. It is from Don Russ Threads of 2008. A Hank Aaron bat. Very, very nice card right there. And it's number two out of 500. So the uh, a lot of people still consider Hank Aaron to be the true home run king. Very, very nice card right there. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. The uh, the owner there, Noah, of the Big Bat Box, 
sends us one of his 400 boxes each month to open up on the channel and he he sends it to me for free i don't pay for the box so i would not feel right selling a spot for this that's why there's never a sponsor for these subscription boxes so since i got these for free you can have them for free i'm going to give away this stack of cards including the Hank Aaron Bat Relic, and the autograph of Jose Adolis Garcia. All you have to do is be subscribed to the channel. Leave a comment down below telling me, oh, tell me what your favorite card is from this video. Or maybe, how about since it's Game 1 of the World Series, tell me what your prediction is. Do you have the Rays winning in seven like I do? Or do you have the Dodgers winning? If so, how many games? How about we do a little tiebreaker too? Tell me who's going to win and tell me who the MVP is of the World Series. So I've taken the Rays in seven for the MVP. The, the easy choice would be to say Randy Arasarena since he won the uh, ALCS MVP. But I'm going to switch it up a little bit. I'm going to go with, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of torn between Tyler Glass now, Charlie Morton, and Austin Meadows, all ex-Pirates. I'm going to have to go... I'm going to go with Austin Meadows. He hasn't done much. I think he's going to bust out and have a big series. That's what I'm hoping for, at least. Uh, so that is my pick. Austin Meadows, World Series MVP. Would love to see it. Hey, Steve Pierce was a former Pirate. He won the uh, World Series MVP with the Red Sox a couple years ago. So let's see if it works. Let me know in the comments who you think has got the World Series. And we'll pick a, um, a winner for this in our live stream on Thursday. We'll be doing Throwback Thursday Live with several baseball card exchange authenticated from a sealed case boxes uh for our uh throwback thursday from that collection that i picked up last week that i showed you guys 1980 all the way up to 1989 we're gonna open four of those boxes on thursday so that's it for this video make sure you check out the big bat box if you want to pick up a diamond box for yourself they're 125 dollars and then tomorrow on the channel we'll be opening the standard version of the big bat box you can see yankee stadium featured there on the front that's the 39 dollar version so check that video out tomorrow i hope you guys have a great rest of your tuesday enjoy game one of the world series and i will see you all tomorrow good night everybody